If you want to be successful, find out what the price is and pay it. Markets are down for the day, mostly gold, bonds, stocks. The only thing up is Bitcoin, and it's up rather nicely. And we will jump into the S&P as we almost always do first. We can see we reached a higher high during the day, but pretty much sideways down a little bit, 0.56%. These are Heiken Ashi candlesticks. I'll put the Heiken Ashi candlestick training at the end of today's video so you can understand them a little more. They're calculated differently than the high, open, low close of your typical candlestick. In fact, the Heiken Ashi opening is the high and low of the previous candle. The Heiken Ashi close is the high open low close of today's candle or the time period's candle that you are looking at. And of course, the high is the highest for the day. The low is the lowest for the day. So as we look at the candles, we can see that we're still well below the 200 EMA. So we're looking for short trades, not long trades. We can see the STC is still green. Here's an interesting one for you. First day of the latest two day candle. It's trying to turn green on the STC. That's a good sign. You can see that on the 200 EMA on the two-day chart, which is 400 days, we're pushing up toward that. The actual wick is going above it, and this candle will finish drawing tomorrow. So long traders, you can sure be looking at this and considering what you might wish to do, depending on how the market is could be a big down day. And again, keep your eye on the prize, but that is a possibility. That's where we are on the two day. The weekly is of course still negative, but a green candlestick going up. So that's something to pay attention to. The first one we have seen in many, many weeks. Last week we had a doji portending a slowdown in the down movement, or well, I would say more like indecision. And then this week, starting off with green. Now that's subject to change. It's a shortened week, but we still have three more days of trading. So lots of things can happen. Now let's move from the S&P 500 to the NASDAQ 100 as we look at that. Again, very similar. The NASDAQ was not down as much as the S&P, only down 0.27%. Green STC, green candles, little bit of a higher high. Uh, we go to the two day, what do we see there? Still a ways to go before it pushes up on the 200 EMA on the two-day chart, but second green candle forming and the STC is going over to green here too. So put that in your show notes, pay attention to that. And then what do we see? Or I guess that would be your daily market worksheet. And what do we see here on the weekly? Again, a green candle starting to form. The first one we've seen in many, many weeks. Price percent oscillator. Price percent oscillator. The STC, which is a combination of what? The MACD, which is what the price percent oscillator is a, is a percentage version of, along with stochastics. That's why we've really fallen in love with this STC. But we can see where things approached the 200 EMA and then came off of it. So we'll keep an eye on things and see what this market is going to do. We will let the charts lead us. Now let's go on to bonds. We will start with what bonds are up to on the half day chart. And you can see that we entered into a down trade on bonds. Why did we do that? Well, we immediately went into a negative STC this morning and actually went down a little further in the afternoon, a little lower low also. Of course, if we translate that over to the inverse fund of the 20 year bond, which is, uh, which is TBF, that is the inverse of TLT. You can see where our jumping in point was and how much things moved up throughout the course of the day. We jumped in at one at a uh, 1981. And I think it reached a high if we look over here of 1996. And again, we're just waiting to see uh, how this continues to move. Overall up 2.11% on the inverse fund. Likewise, 20-year bonds on TLT were down 
2.12%. So we put our little profit and um, loss bands on both the chart going down for the main one that we follow. We don't tend to switch charts up. I just showed you that because I've got a trade going in that. We'll see how that goes and keep up with it. But as far as the charts that we look at, we'll stick with TLT. Now, it is to be noted that on the two-day, it is actually, let me get this sized up for us here. The STC on the two-day chart is green, and, uh, and again, heading up, hasn't crossed over going down yet. Now, where are we on the weekly? The weekly is still negative. Nice thing is we have a red down candle forming on the weekly and a red down candle forming on the two-day. So we'll continue to keep our eye on things. If the trade goes well for us, we will stay in it. We're shooting for a return of about... Uh, three and a half, four percent, something like that. So we'll see how things go there. We'll keep you posted. We'll follow it as we go through the week. If things bounce up, we need to pull the trade. We'll jump out. It'll be just that easy. Our profit and loss bands keep us honest. And remember, with a two to one risk to reward ratio, limiting your losses, limiting your volatility risk by reducing the amount of your trade based upon the loss percentage then, and all that's in our trainings, we've been pushing those trainings out to you over and over and over again on the always winning formula, uh, the average true range training, uh, all of the stuff that we have put out, the success multiplier formula, all those things, again, help you manage risk and minimize losses. Because if with a two to one risk to reward ratio, you can win just four out of 10 trades, you're in the green, my friends. You'll prove that to yourself. You'll understand it mathematically when you take those trainings. But when you actually do it and you prove it to yourself, there's nothing like that. So that is where we are on bonds. We will go from bonds to gold. What do we see there? Gold is heading down, down in the morning, a little further down in the afternoon, down 0.99%, almost 1% down on gold. STC is still green, hasn't flipped over yet. We saw gold push up toward the 200 EMA on the half-day chart and then head off of it. We look at the two-day. What do we see there? It's still in the red. It had six days, well, two Two two-day candles, four days of good strong up movement, then started losing over the last three days, still in the red when it comes to the STC on the two-day chart and on the weekly, still in the red. Green candle, green spinning top, lots of indecision shown there last week, switching over to a red this week. And again, nowhere near those prior lows that we have seen. We'll keep our eye on gold. And of course, with that in mind, we will continue to watch and see if that STC converts over to a red, giving us a jumping in point. A little leery about jumping too early because it did not work for us this last time. And we're still pretty green, very green on that STC. Lastly, we will go to the big gainer for the day. And of course, that is Bitcoin. Now, this is the 24-hour-a-day chart. We, of course, use XBTF. What is that? Well, that is the Van Eck uh, Trust Bitcoin Strategy Fund. It is a future, a Bitcoin future, closed month, short, uh, short time future. I like it because, first off, it's easy for you to get into, into. It's cheap. And again, it tracks the Bitcoin price quite well quite liquid jumping into and out of. The options aren't liquid, but jumping into and out of it is, and you don't have to worry about anybody raiding your Bitcoin exchange or any kind of problems there because this is a publicly traded ETF on the market. So that's why I like it. Not make any guarantees for it. I've bought it and sold it, and I've done fine with it. Haven't had any problems buying or selling it or any crazy price quirks. Now, what do we see up for the day? 9.78%. Now, that's where it is on the 
half day chart. We can see where we had this channel where things were just boxed up. And as happens when you get low volatility, at some point things are going to break out either up or down. They appear to be breaking out up. We look at the two day. Where is it? Well, nice big green up candle forming after lots and lots of down red candles. We see the STC has not switched over to green yet, but that's a nice start. We'll see. What about the weekly? First green candle we have seen in how many weeks? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven weeks. So that's pretty. It's not a big candle. Not like we saw back at that week beginning the 28th of March where things most recently peaked out. But it is a green candle nonetheless. And it is good to see. And like I said, up almost 10% on XBTF. So we'll keep our eye on the prize and see where Bitcoin is heading. Folks, we love to hear from you. CW at chartingwealth.com. If you're not a Patreon subscriber, you need to be one. We're here for you each and every day, and we love you being with us. Thank you so much, my friends, as somehow my board flips out. I don't know what I did, but I'm glad I'm at the end of the show. Hope you guys have a great evening. God bless. All the best from the whole team at Charting Wealth. World Headquarters.